All right, it's Super Bowl week. We're going to talk a little football here in the studio now with Springfield grad, former Toledo Rocket Eric Page, current Tampa Bay Buccaneer, and uh, playing for the Bucs this year. Now you're coming back to Toledo, and, and the weather's just miserable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm glad to be home. Glad to see some friendly faces and, you know, go up to Springfield a couple of times. I went up there, see my old coach, you know. He was dying to see me just talk about football. You know, I couldn't get a, enough of it, but just glad to be home. What is it like, though? I mean, as you mentioned, we talked a little bit about it. What is it like to come home as Eric Page, NFL player now, as opposed to Eric Page, UT Rocket or Springfield Blue Devil? Um, I talk a lot more, <laughs> <laughs> smile, and I mean, I like it because the kids, you know, growing up, I always wanted someone hometown to look up to, you know. Growing up, there wasn't too many people come out of Toledo. But now I went back to Springfield and the kids are all asking me questions about NFL, who I like playing with, how it's Peyton Manning, stuff like that. So, I mean, that's just a joy to me to answer them questions. Okay, I'll take a cue from the kids. Who you like playing with? <laughs> oh, I mean, this year I liked um, Vincent Jackson, Mike Williams, you know, two receivers. Yep. And they just helped me out a lot. I mean, they're, you know, Vincent's been doing it for, you know, eight years at the best of the best. And, I mean, sure. I learned a lot from them and they just helped me a lot. As a young guy in the league, you know, has there been a moment on the field where you've been a little bit of star, a little starstruck by seeing someone you're playing against? Um, I to tell you the truth, the only time I've ever felt like that my whole life was freshman year at Toledo when we went and played um, Ohio State at Cleveland Brown Stadium. Yeah. That was the only time I've ever been like <laughs> starstruck for a second. I'm like, oh wow, you know. <laughs> but in NFL, not too much, no. The, the the neat thing, that, and we filed it over the, the last couple of years, is there's a lot of guys from the Toledo area playing in the NFL. You got Griff Whalen with the Colts. Yeah. You got Nate Washington with the Titans. You got Fred Davis with the Redskins. Is there a sense of a camaraderie of Northwest Ohio guys, the 419 connection? Yeah, I mean, um, I didn't actually get to, you know, see any of those guys and talk to them. But, I mean, um, you know, just with Toledo, I seen Lance. I seen, mm -hmm. um, you know, I seen Danny Noble. We, he went to Toledo. And, I mean, we chatted before the game. And that was cool. I know Griff is doing great with, the, you know, the Colts and mm -hmm. stuff. But, yeah, it was um, good seeing guys that, you know, former faces. You mentioned Lance. I mean, you're, you guys are connected to the UT record book, and then you guys play them twice. You're both in the same division. What mm -hmm. are those conversations with Lance more like? Well, first, when we first um, played him, he was just checking, um, checking me, like, hey, how you doing? How, you know, getting settled in? How's the knee and everything? But the second game, you know, it was kind of more, um, just a little more competitive, and we just talked about what he's going to do. And I mean, he kind of went off against us, had a real <laughs> good game. But. He did. Yeah, Lance is a good guy. All right, I want to take you back a little bit. You declare for the draft uh, after your junior year at UT. Uh, you get picked up by the Broncos, but you had the knee injury. What was the rehab process like and the, just everything you went through to get back on the field? What was that like? Um, tough. I mean, yeah, last year I came back home to Toledo after I left Denver. And, I mean, just rehabbing here at, you know, the, the hospital. And it was kind of just tough because I wanted to rehab up at Toledo. And, I mean, it was just some things going up there I couldn't, so it kind of was like basically on my own. So, I mean, I went down to Florida for a couple months and was luckily, you know, tried out for Tampa and was able to get with them. So, uh, it was just a tough year, but I'm, you know, just glad to be where I'm at. You mentioned Denver, and I mean, this segues perfectly into this weekend. I mean, you did spend some time. You did get to hang out with Peyton Manning a little bit. What was that like? Oh, I mean, that was, <laughs> he's the best <laughs> to do it. I mean. There's nothing else to say about it, and um, I mean, it'd, it'd be a tough game. We played Seattle. They were a good team, and I mean, that's two great teams right there, and I mean, it's going to be a good game. Do you have the Broncos? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah. I'm putting you on the spot, I'd, I'd, I'd go with the Broncos okay. just, um, just because, I mean, I was there for a, a little bit. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. So what's the rest of the offseason going to be like? I know you're not going to stay up here in the cold. You're going to get back to Florida at some point, right? Oh, yeah. i got to get down there and, you know, start getting back into shape before, um, you know, we start OTAs and mini camp. So, I mean, I know um, a couple guys at Lance and, you know, Nick Moore down there, Hawk, um, Hawkins down there training mm -hmm. in Tampa. So I'm going to go back down there and get with those guys and hit it hard. Hawkins with the Bengals, and, and this is a crazy situation for you. I mean, it, help me on my numbers here. You're a uh, free agent, correct, with a one year with the Buccaneers, right? Yeah, a restricted free agent, so the Buccaneers have the rights to me. So, But then Greg Schiano gets fired, and now you don't even – I mean, Lovey Smith comes in. Do you have any kind of relationship with Lovey Smith at all? I met Lovey. He was a great guy, and I've only heard nothing but great things about him from other players, and he's a – players coach and I mean I'm just excited for the year to start. You Are know? you a little nervous? Does that make you a little nervous though having a new guy come in that you don't really know that well and he doesn't really know you that well? 
No, I don't think so. I think it's football. You go out there and play. And I mean, if you're good, you're going to stay. If you're not, you know, True. that's just the way it goes. And so you got to go out and prove yourself. And I'm looking forward to doing that. Real quickly before we let you go, you know, you got this full season under your belt. What was the, the maybe the neatest place you went to or the, the coolest stadium to play in that you played in this year? I think Seattle was pretty cool. You know, they always talk about the noise and the crowd. And I mean, it gets up there. I mean, Seattle was a great place to play. At. I think um, I like New York. New York's a great stadium where they're playing the Super Bowl at. But yeah, those were probably the coolest spots. Well, Eric, you're doing a great job. Thanks for uh, spending a little bit of time with us and best of luck in the offseason and, and next year. All right. Thank you for having me.